everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make purple rice. Um, as you notice, I'm inside my RV. It's really windy outside, so I've decided to make a little quick video. Now let me show you the ingredients first. I usually carry my rice in this plastic container. So um, I also carry a three-quart uh, instant pot. So I will be cooking my rice in this. Let me show you. This is the Wang brand. I like this brand. I think this is a very trusted brand. Um, it's called Yaseng Chapsal, which is the wild um, glutinous black rice. And I also have pressed barley. It's called Napjak Puri. It's the same brand as this one. So I will be using, this is pressed because if you want to cook the food really fast, if you use the whole barley, it takes a long time. But with the flat barley, it looks like this. You see how it's flat? Yeah. So it's it takes the same amount as you would be cooking the regular white rice. So right now I have two cups of white rice in here. I'm going to be making four, uh, four portions or more than that, but depending on people. So I have two cups of white rice the asian sticky rice on purple rice i'm not going to put too much because if you put too much it became it becomes really dark so i'm going to be putting in uh one third cup half cup it is up to you if you want them darker rice you could do that so it is there's no right or wrong with this so i'm going to be putting in half cup a little less than half cup okay so I'm going to put in half cup and the barley I'm going to be putting in full half cup. See? So I so far have two cups of white rice and see how I'm mixing it in? This is how I know how much darker I want the purple rice to be and how much barley do I want the barley to be. So now I have, so far, I think I could cook four portion on this, but I'm sure it's more than four portion. So I'm gonna be adding in one more cup. So I have three cups of white sticky rice, little less half cup of purple wild rice, black wild rice, and then half cup of pressed barley rice. Now I'm going to wash this and I'll come back and I'll show you how to water this, okay? Okay. Appa washed the rice for me and he washed it. He said he washed six to seven times. So now you see how the color is? You see already the purple colors coming out? So now since how many cups of water, uh, um, since I already put in four cups of rice, I would have to add a four cups of water. Now, this one I bought them at the dollar store, but the Korean, the, the rice pot cup comes in different, I mean, they're smaller, I've noticed it. So now I'm gonna be adding, I don't wanna cook with sink water, so I brought my own uh, filter water. So I'm gonna be adding one, two, it has a little bit of water from washing, so three. And I'm going to do three and a half. The reason being, inst Instant Pot cooks with the pressure. And so you don't want to put too much water. It cooks really fast. And basically, normally I don't need to do all the measuring. I know by heart because I've been cooking rice for a long time. Uh, but because I wanted to show you, there's a way for me to measure this. I usually put my finger and then I, yeah, that looks good. So three and a half cup for me because I'm cooking it in the instant pot. So I'm going to put that in and close the lid. And we're going to be pushing the rice. First, make sure the pressure is sealed. And I'm going to push the rice now. And 
uh, it automatically knows what to do. So now it said it's going to cook it in eight minutes. In reality, it's going to be about 15 minutes. Yep, we're going to leave that and then I'll be cooking something else. See you later. Okay, the rice is ready. And you know what? It said 12 minutes after I pushed the button. So in the beginning it said 8, but it was actually 12 minutes plus few minutes before and after. So this is how the purple rice looks like. Now this is how you get, when you go to the restaurant, this is the color I think that it kind of looks. So I just wanted to show you and it smells amazing. Now the reason why I put barley into my purple rice is that it helps me to digest the food so much easier than just plain white rice. So yeah, the rice came out really good. It, and I love cooking rice on Instant Pot. The reason being is because it's pressure cooker. It just makes everything taste so wonderful. And so, yeah. Now my one portion is not probably double or triple other people, but this is my camp glass, camp <laughs> rice ball, and it's stainless, so it doesn't break. So this is how it is, quick and easy. Try to make this, um, you know, and then you know what I usually do is that I make extra so that I have extra food with me, and I will put this in my in a freezer bag, and I will keep this in a refrigerator so I don't have to cook, you know, rice every single time. So this will be at least two, three portion, two, three meals out of it. So that way I just cook it at once and then we have fresh rice all the time. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Have fun. Um, explore with different kinds of recipes, different kinds of stuff into the rice. So this is a purple rice. Add colors to your food. Purple is good for you. Barley is good for you. So yeah, be healthy. I mean, be healthy and be happy. Thank you for watching the video. God bless you. Bye.